for that beautiful song. Now it is time to our call to worship and with your mics muted, Vicki, uh, I'm sorry, Elder Vicki Collins will assist me with reading the call to worship. Come, let us draw near to God. Let us offer our devotion and petitions. We join our hearts in worship. We seek our holy God of grace and mercy. Worship the Lord and rejoice. We gather to praise the Lord. All, we draw near in, in times of tribulation and trial. We praise God even in this time of chaos. In this day of worship, we seek the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come. Come. Thank you. Amen. 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 And now it's time for another song by Miss Patricia Felt. Lift every voice and sing.
Amen. Amen. Now it is time for our prayer of confession and Elder Mary Zeno will assist me. Precious Savior, we are people whom you love, yet we're imperfect. We are arrogant, yet weak. We are a people divided. People. We live in times of trial and fear. So easy to despair. Mary? Sorry. Okay, go ahead, Mary. <laughs> I didn't hear you. <laughs> we live in times of trial and fear, so easy to despair. We live in fear for our loved ones. We confess that we do not share as we should. We must ask, do we love our neighbor? Oh. We seek your, your mercy, mercy and, and grace. grace. We, we seek, seek your, your compassion, compassion and forgiveness. Help us, Help us to, to forgive, to forgive others, others with, with compassion. compassion. We seek, we seek to, to be faithful. faithful. Hear, Hear our, our prayer, O oh Lord. Lord. Amen. 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 Friends, believe the good news of the gospel. In Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Thank Thanks be God. to God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mary and Vicki, for helping Robin. And we are testing the Zoom gods by having multiple voices speaking at the same time. So I ask that you now mute your mics. God got us through it. Hallelujah. Amen. But to, but to uh, mute when you aren't speaking and we will give the rest of our membership a time to share during our prayer requests and also during our time of virtual hugs. Amen. And so this is a time before we lift up prayers of the people, just as Jesus spoke and calmed the seas, so Jesus is present to hear our prayers and petitions and to speak into them. So if any of you at this time have a prayer request, just know that we are continuing to pray for those on our sick and shut-in list and those who have asked for prayer over the week, we continue to lift up uh, the Hinton family um, and pray for their time of grieving. We continue to lift up the Bell family as they had a loss uh, just uh, earlier in um, uh, the year, latter part of 2020. We continue to lift up Daryl Hunter and his family in the loss of loved ones. And so now, if you would, one at a time, unmute your mic, and if there are other prayer requests that you have, bring them before the throne room of grace. Danita? Hi, everybody. 
Um, I just want to, it's a praise report for me, of course. Uh, yesterday, we uh, celebrated my mom's birthday. We went to her house. So I just want to say happy birthday to my mom. And I also want to say happy birthday to Vicki Collins. I'm not going to say how old they are, but they both got sixes in their number. I just found <laughs> that out yesterday this morning. <laughs> so happy birthday, you guys. <laughs> happy birthday to two of our queens in our midst. Amen. Others, other prayer requests? Sharon, I see your hand waving, I think. That was just waving a celebratory birthday. Okay. For All the right. two young ladies. All righty, praise God. And of course, we have another queen in our midst that we have celebrated and recognized. And I think she has an eight or a nine, a eight in her number. Ms. Carter, beautiful Ms. Carter, it was good to see you today in your blue, last week in your red, hallelujah. Always a pleasure to have you. Uh, other prayer requests. This is Vicki, Pastor. Good morning, everyone. Praise be to God. My uh, classmate, Shirley Caldwell, lost her husband Sanford Wiseman, a former o OPD police officer, motorcycleman, uh, to a rare disease uh, for many years now. They had thought he'd be gone by 2017, but he languished and soldiered on till uh, last week. And so just keep Shirley in your prayers, please. Amen. Amen. And I also ask prayers as we still are trying to resolve the estate and matters of uh, my dear friend. I thank you all for your prayers as, as you have been praying for her since our loss of her on December 30th and uh, wasn't COVID, but still uh, an extended illness. And I thank you for your prayers for two family members of, of uh, my family that we have lost to COVID. So um, please just continue to keep each other in your prayers. And please, please, because this is something we need to pray over. African-American people historically do not like to talk about wills and advanced directives. But my friends, if you don't get it straight with your family, then you will be in a situation like my friend, where now the government has stepped in and will not let any of her beloved longtime friends have any say in the settlement of her estate. Please, please talk with your family members and have a plan. Are there other prayer requests? Good morning again. Um, I just wanted to celebrate my daughter's 34th birthday today. Hallelujah. Time went by. Seems like I just had her. Now I'm a grandma. So <laughs> I just want to celebrate symphony today in your prayers. Amen. Sif symphony? Symphony like the music. Oh, wonderful. It would take a musician to name her daughter <laughs> symphony. How beautiful. <laughs> How beautiful. If yeah, I think... past... Yes, go ahead. Hi, okay, well, I, I can say that I just have an announcement, even though he's didn't want me to really say anything, but I'm just an excited mom, uh, Malcolm, uh, my youngest. He just received his acceptance letter to attend San Francisco State University in the fall. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's worth praying and praising God for, yes, indeed. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And so let us now quiet our hearts and our minds and open our spirits as we enter the throne room of grace. Precious and merciful God, we thank you for this day. We've come through the rains and the storms, the chills, and we lift up those, Lord, who are homeless through all of the thunder and, and all of the pouring rain and the winds. In my heart, in our hearts, are the people who are on the streets subject to the elements, those without a home, those without food, those who may feel that no one cares, we lift them up to you right now, Lord. 
even as we are blessed enough to come together on this day to worship together and to be together and to just rejoice in the milestones and to comfort one another in the challenges, we are mindful that we are truly blessed. As we sit in the shelter of our homes and join together on Zoom, we are mindful, Lord, that but for the grace of God go we. And so we, as a community of faith, gather seeking your presence to be with brothers and sisters who are homeless, to be with brothers and sisters who struggle somewhere apart from family due to drug addiction and affliction, to be with those in the hospital rooms and in the wards and the emergency rooms, uh, to be with our frontline workers as they struggle to care for just the rising numbers of those on COVID, to be with our government officials as they try to make decisions, oh God, about what tier or what color we should be in amid the COVID pandemic, while there are so many who still don't have their vaccinations. Lord, we ask for your mercy. We ask for your mercy in this time to as much as we want to come together and be together as we saw the crowds of rejoicing, worshiping people in the Hezekiah Walker tape, help us to know that we can't yet do that. We want to hug, we want to be with family. So many of us are lonely having to be isolated and separated, but Lord, we trust in your word, your promise that we are alone from one another, but we are not alone from you. Be present, oh God. Be present with all on our sick and shut in list. We lift up our beloved elders to you, not elders in office, but elders in our beloved wisdom and age that you have blessed them to see. Lord God, we thank you for Faith Church being a place where all can come to worship together. We thank you, oh God, for those who have sacrificed and given up themselves in leadership Bless each member of our session as they deliberate this afternoon. Bless the people who have served in the past and those who might have it and lean in to your placing it on their hearts to serve. We need all, oh God, because we realize we are a small church and yet you said we just need mustard seed faith, however small we are. Whatever we do, you can bless it, you can multiply it, and it can bless someone and glorify you. So Lord, we ask that you continue in the power of your Holy Spirit to be present in the songs, in the prayers, in the praise, in the scriptures read, and in the word delivered. Thank you, O oh God, for another chance for us to come and be together as this community of faith. We pray all of this prayers spoken and unspoken in the name of Jesus, the Alpha and Omega, our Redeemer, and all of the people, by show of hands, say amen, 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 and so it is.
stay here. Steal away, steal away, steal away to Jesus. Steal away, steal away. Oh, I ain't got long to stay here. I ain't got long to stay here. Patricia. Praise Thank God. you, Patricia, for that beautiful hymn. So now it's time for a faith family reflection time. Well, when we used to be in our church building, this was a time where we would come together and it was our moment of encounter. Well, we can't physically hug and touch each other, but what I'd all, I always like to start off with is a big virtual hug. So if you guys would all join me in reaching your hands out, and giving yourself the biggest and tightest virtual hug that you can give. Now, didn't that feel good? It felt good to me. Amen, thank you. So this is our time of reflection. So does anyone have anything they would like to say, share, praise report, uh, how have things been going? How's your week been? Um, I just would like to share that, you know, all of you know that I work for a large organization uh, for the County of Alameda. And I had also shared that I had concerns that um, on my floor, I work on the fourth floor of my building, we had an outbreak of the COVID um, infection. And then shortly after that, we had another outbreak on the third floor. So I went and had got tested for the second time. And I just wanna praise God that I am negative. So I will continue to do what I'm doing I try to keep my door closed. I wear my mask. I wear a face shield and I pray. So that's my praise report. Amen. 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 Any others? Anita? I just had a re I just had a request for the month of February. I know that we're not in church or anything like that, but if we could wear our African garment, that would still be nice to come on Zoom with our African garment, especially on Fourth Sunday. Maybe we could snap a picture, something like that. Just wanted to bring that up. Perfect. Thank you, Danita. I'm, I'm, uh, my computer's a little unstable. Robin is saying her, her computer reception is a little unstable. Robin, when you come back, just say something. But we think that that is a great idea and we'll try to announce it uh, so that people will know to come all at once on at least fourth Sunday. But with February being uh, Black History Month, we encourage you to celebrate our heritage. Uh, Jeff, we see in the background, we hope that cold is over and that you're doing better because <laughs> we love to see you smile, amen? <laughs> 
All right, other virtual hugs. Anybody want to give a shout out? I'd like to shout out that we were in Sunday school service this morning with a nice showing of saints, but we also were visited all the way from Chicago. Um, Gerald Chambers, Helen Gaines' nephew, joined okay. us this morning, much to my surprise. <laughs> it was wonderful having him. Wonderful. And Brother Fred, you can't sneak in Thank without you. us Welcome. seeing you. We see you. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you're feeling better and back to 100% from that COVID because we need you to preach sometimes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Others, any other praise reports, hugs? Amen. Then we are just so glad to see everyone here with us at this time. Uh, it is our joy to have you in our service. Again, we say happy birthday to our birthday ladies, and we just continue to praise God for you being in our midst. And so now if uh, Robin is still with us, she might have lost her connection. We can we now go, ah, we there you have are. an opportunity to offer to her. Um, no way outdo him because there's no way that we can beat God's giving. But this is our opportunity a fifth Sunday. We got five Sundays this month. And Offer he, to so, prayer and appeal. Pardon? Go ahead, Vicki. Okay, another Sunday to uh, give back to he who has given us so much. So Father God, if we just allow each other to bow our heads and we'll bring this prayer of appeal to you, Master. Well, Heavenly Father, we come with our hands outstretched in adoration and praise, thanking you for all that you've given us. This is one more month in the year of 2021 that we have gotten through this congregation of believers. And we ask that the blessings that we've received, that we know how to turn it around and give it back to you for those needs that are needed in our church facility. We have people who have to be paid the payroll. We have our lights and our water. We have other issues that are needed to be addressed. So we ask that you open our hearts and they, we will give and give abundantly to the needs of the church and that thy will will be done. Father God, let the congregation know that they can send these little blessings to 430 49th Street, Oakland, California, 94609. Or as some people do, they can pay by PayPal or automatic check withdrawal if they set it up. Danita Hinton, who lives in the Contra Costa County area uh, in Antioch can be brought uh, offerings if one chooses. Otherwise, you may direct your donations to 430 49th Street, Oakland, California, 94609. God blessings to all. Amen. Amen. We praise God from whom all blessings flow.
Amen. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Vicki and Robin. This time I've placed the reception of two beloved people in our midst. I've placed it in the middle of our service. Amen. To receive Willie Collins and Sharon Thomas as new members. So that after we go through the ritual, they are then officially part of our community to receive the scripture and the sermon as well as our fellowship. So often we leave this ritual <clears throat> until the end of the service as though it's an afterthought and really it's a central part of our service, amen? And so I'm going to ask Vicki Collins as the co-clerk of session and elder to assist me in this ritual and to begin on our behalf. On behalf of the session, having approved Willie Collins and having approved Sharon Thomas, I present, I Vicki Collins present Willie and I present Sharon to each be received into the Faith Fellowship as members of the congregation, Faith Presbyterian Church. They seek to join this community of faith by reaffirmation of their faith. Willie Collins and Sharon Thomas, you come to us already as members in one family of our eternal and loving God who calls us into fellowship as the body of Christ. We rejoice in the blessings of service that you bring and we seek to reaffirm your gifts with words from the Holy Scripture. According to Galatians 3, 27 to 28, the word says, as you were baptized into Christ and have clothed yourselves with Christ, there is no longer Jew or Gentile. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male or female for all are one in Christ. To Willie and Sh Sharon, we ask you therefore to profess your faith in Christ Jesus and to confess the faith of the church by saying the words I do to affirm your commitment. Trusting in the gracious mercy of God, do you turn away from the ways of sin, renounce evil and its power in the world? Your response? I do. I do. Will you need to unmute? I do. Do you turn to and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, trusting in his grace and love? I do. I do. And Willie Collins and Sharon Thomas, as you profess your faith, will you be a faithful member in this congregation, share in worship, study, and ministry through prayers and discipleship to obey Christ's word? If so, please respond, I will with God's help. I will, I will with God's, God's help. help. Let us pray. Oh Lord, please uphold Willie Collins and Sharon Thomas with your heavenly grace. Daily increase in each your gifts of the spirit, wisdom, caring, service, and commitment to you and your church. Guard them with your protecting hand, amen. And to the church, by your affirmation, do you welcome Willie and Sharon as they join with us in the worship and mission of the church? If so, let us see your hands or the, the uh, symbols in Zoom to say an affirmation. And even though your mics still need to be silent so that we don't send the Zoom system into orbit, please say these words together with us. With joy and thanksgiving, we welcome you to share with us 
in the ministry of Christ, for we are all in him. And again, affirmation, hallelujah. And so Willie and Sharon, we as Faith Presbyterian Church and as affirmed by the members of session, we welcome you. We say amen and may the peace of Christ be with you. Sharon and Willie, unmute. And also with you. With you. Amen. 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 I think that's a reason for us to give a hand praise. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. That God has brought us to new members. And we commit to you to support you however we can, just as we encourage you to discern and listen to where God wants you to serve. Amen? Amen. Now, a lot of people may come at you telling you where you ought to serve, but pastor says, pray on it and listen to God in where you feel led to serve. We are thankful to Sharon already for the wonderful contributions that she does with our children and even holding a Zoom meeting with them as our adult Sunday school goes on. And now I will turn it back to Robin and okay. colleagues. Okay. Next we have our scripture reading. Um, First scripture reading is Psalm 111, and that will be read by Elder Mary Zeno. And then next, um, the New um, Testament reading, Mark chapter 1, verses 21 to 28, will be read by Elder Vicki Collins. Okay. Good reading from the New International Version. Praise the Lord. I will extol the Lord with all my heart in the council of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his worshipers to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. I'm sorry, he has caused his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works, giving them the lands of other nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just, and his precepts are trustworthy. They are steadfast forever and ever, done in faithfulness and uprightness. He provided redemption for his people. He ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follow his precepts have good understanding. To him belongs eternal praise. Amen. And reading from the New Testament, Mark chapter 1, verses 21 through 28. Jesus forces out an evil spirit. Jesus and his followers went to Capernaum on the Sabbath day. He went to the synagogue and began to teach. The people were amazed at his teaching because he taught like a person who had authority, not like their teachers of the law. Just then a man was there in the synagogue who had an evil spirit in him. He shouted, Jesus of Nazareth, what do you want with us? Did you come to destroy us? I know who you are, God's holy one. Jesus commanded the evil spirit, be quiet, come out of the man. The evil spirit shook the man violently, gave a loud cry, and then came out of him. The people were so amazed, they asked each other, what is happening here? The man is teaching something new. 
and with authority. He even gives commands to evil spirits and they obey him. And the news about Jesus spread quickly everywhere in the area of Galilee. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing and the doing of his word. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. And next we'll have another uh, hymn by Patricia Pell. She's Patricia, muted. Mute your mic. Soldiers of the Cross. 
It is indeed that blessing that we have, that God has given us to be in God's witness. And so we come now to the time of our service where the scriptures have been read, and now we seek to hear from the Holy Spirit. Precious and gracious God, we ask that you come, that you be in our midst, that you move our hearts, that you burn our ears, that you fill us with the food that we need to carry us through the week. And may the med words of my mouth and the meditations of our collective hearts be found acceptable in your sight. O Lord, our Redeemer, this we pray. Amen. I want to thank Vicki and Mary for reading the scriptures, the Psalm 111, which is a praise to God, and the account in Mark of Jesus in the synagogue. And hallelujah, the psalmist calls us to give thanks to the Lord with our whole heart, to give thanks to the Lord with our whole heart, to give thanks among those who are trying to be upright, to give thanks in the midst of our congregation. And so we are thankful today for having had Willie Collins and Sharon Thomas, two beloveds of ours who have been worshiping with us for most of the year, to have them officially welcomed. And that's why I wanted to fellowship in Brother Willie and Sister Sharon prior to the scripture and the sermon so they would officially be part of the congregation and with us to give thanks with our whole heart, amen, as a community of faith church. And so the psalmist goes on to extol the Lord. And as he extols the Lord, we also need to testify with clarity and strength of conviction about our own reasons for giving thanks for surely God has shown up in your life and in mine in so many ways. God shows up in the incarnate savior who came, ministered, taught, and although evil thought that he was only a rabbi and that humankind could still be defeated, thought that we'd be brought low, hallelujah, that God through Christ said no, evil spirit, move aside, I'm claiming the victory. I'm going high, right up to heaven. As Jesus claimed victory over death and arose so that we might have eternal life. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, that's something to shout about because glory to God in the highest. We don't wanna go low, we wanna go high. But look at God, look at God. The word in Mark says Jesus entered the synagogue and taught with authority. You see, Jesus would come into the synagogue. He didn't need to wait for an invitation. He didn't need to wait his turn from one of the priests or the scribes. He was a rabbi who taught and lived the word. And so he didn't have to cite or name others in authority. He knew the word for himself. He didn't have to get others permission. He walked in the synagogue, the word says, and immediately started teaching. And then the word says to make sure we knew the difference that he wasn't a scribe. You see, scribes wrote what they were told. They learned to read so they could write down the oral lessons. But Jesus, Jesus didn't need a scribe. Jesus already had in his heart and his brain and his spirit to know that he already knew and interpreted the word of God. Jesus knew what he knew. And as God of the word, he didn't have to have anybody's permission, don't miss that. He already knew the word and interpreted the word as the word of God, as the word of God. Hallelujah, somebody. But then there's some other things. 
some other things that we ought not to miss in this account. Now, Jesus, Mark says, was in the synagogue, a place of teaching and learning and worship. Ah, but also in that synagogue was the evil spirit. Come on, somebody. You see, there's no place that's immune from the enemy's attempt to separate us from worship, trying to keep us from worshiping and glorifying God, trying to block our blessing. Note that amid Jesus' teaching the truth, the evil spirit started trying to wreak havoc started calling out and hollering to distract the folks' attention. Don't miss this. The word says the man had an evil spirit, an unclean spirit, says the word actually. Well, everybody in the congregation got demons. We, Faith Church, we got some demons. If we are human and because we are not perfect, we all got demons. It's how we wrestle with those demons that is revealed to us before God. You see, those demons, those evil spirits, those unclean spirits can't undo God, but can undo us if we go low. If we don't submit, admit, repent before God, evil drags us lower and lower. And so I'm using and borrowing from the First Lady Michelle Obama's mantra that when others go low, we go high. I'm saying when evil goes low or tries to take us low, we need to go high. The key is to be transparent before God because the Holy Spirit already knows your heart, but God wants you to admit your heart. God wants me to admit my heart. God already knows everybody in this church, city, state, nation that has evil intent, that wants to wreak havoc, that only wants power. God already knows. But the repentance comes, my friends, when we admit. See, see, in some, in some churches, in some churches, not this one, I'm not talking about faith church, but in some churches, folks who are trying to get up the nerve to finally come to church are met by folks in the church who are more worried about what they wear, what they got, and who they know. I know you know some folks like that, not in this church. There's some churches where poor folks trying to go high, trying to be redeemed, are brought low by self-labeled saints blocking their efforts. See, some folks don't want their churches to grow. I'm talking this week to some clergy colleagues who are frustrated because some people just want the church to stay small like a little country club. Because if the church grows, those people in their minds say they can't be in charge. Now, again, I'm not talking about this church. But we ought not to miss that we got a lot of leaders in high places, including religious positions, who have unclean spirits pulling them low, debasing their ethics, humanity, and decency, unclean Spirits will make you lose your mind. Ah, but the power of God, the power of God is such that evil can't stay hidden. Don't miss it in the scripture. Evil could only stand here in Jesus teach for so long before evil tried to disrupt. You see, you can't fool the ultimate seer and knower. You can't fool God. Truth prevails. So when Jesus started speaking truth, evil had to reveal itself. 
And there's a saying, what's done in the dark shall come to light. So Jesus, once the spirit spoke up and started wreaking havoc and sending the man and all kinds of spasms, Jesus called it out and shut it down. Told the evil spirit to shut up. And in the name of Jesus, church, you too can tell the spirit of evil in your life to shut up, rebuke the ungodly power that seeks to seep into your pores, weight down your heart and pull you low, rebuke and holla. The kids say holla, holla for Jesus. Because sometimes, Sometimes, I don't know about you, but that's all I can call out is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And anytime, anytime you call on the name Jesus, that's sufficient. Beloved, you will be heard. There's something about the name Jesus. There's a song that I think Patricia sings and other gospel singers sing. There's something about the name Jesus. It's the sweetest name. And it's one that resounds and is our righteous delivery out of depression, bondage, low self-esteem, impatience, anger, lies, and deceit, whatever. Whatever is seeking to derail your joy. Just call on the name Jesus. Just holler it out. Because when evil goes low, we are to go high. And there's no higher name than the glory and the grace of our triune God. And so the psalmist ends with these words. Fear of the holy I am is the beginning of wisdom. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Here the word fear is not the sensory that evil invokes. Rather in this affirmation, fear means to hold God in awe and reverence. So in other words, when you know that you know that you know that you don't know, and can't know the magnitude and the depth and the breath of God, then you have reached a place of wise humility and submission. When you know that you know that you don't know all there is to know about God, then you can fall on your knees and lift up your hands and say, Lord, I need you. Because to be able to say, here, Lord, I hand whatever this is to you because you are able and I am not. Then, my friends, you go a little higher. And each time you do it, you go a little higher. Hallelujah. So when evil sets itself on trying to pull you or me low, that's precisely when you go high. Go high and resist in wallowing in, in misery. Go high and trust that God's got you, that God's got me. Go high and look to the hills from whence our help cometh. And oh, glory to God. Glory to God, our hope cometh from the Lord. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen today? When evil tries to bring you low, go high, go high, go high. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. And now we have our time of discernment. Discernment when we think about 
how good God has been to us. And I would like to, with your permission, use this time of discernment to just open up and allow our two newest members, Willie Collins and then Sharon separately, to just say something to the congregation. Go ahead, Willie. Am I unmuted? No, you're fine now. Go ahead. Okay. I just want to say that I've been attending the services for the past, oh, I don't know, eight or nine months. And I felt that I was getting what I needed the spiritual uplifting, the fellowship. But today feels different, feels completely different. I feel like a part of this faith family. And I felt that the sermon spoke more to me today than any of any of the past in the past eight or nine months. And I thank the family for welcoming me in. It ended a long solitude, long drought, but now that drought has ended. And I thank you all. Thank you, Pastor Val. Thank you, Vicki, for being my inspiration. I know you don't take the credit, but you were God's vessel that got me the message to come back home. Thank you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't get me to crying. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Sharon? Um, I feel honored. I think we got to... That's all right. That's just the devil trying to bring it low. Go ahead and say your piece. Um, I just, I think I can fix this. Hold on. Is that better? Yes. Okay. I feel honored. Um, Faith has always been a church home for me, in and out, of course, but always kind, loving, I've always heard God's word preached and I've always had a connection to faith and I just want to make it permanent. And I thank all of you for accepting me. And once again, I feel honored. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so to you, Faith Church, look how God is still planting seeds in the life of your community. And so we are called to just be in discernment and to be bold disciples. You never know where you go in speaking about this beloved community that you may draw someone new unto us. If we all are truly disciples, amen, and just praise the Lord the church will be blessed because God is already blessing and God loves each and every one of you. And so I want to encourage you as we prepare for our closing song and then the charge and blessing. I want to encourage you to go high, to dare to use your voice. Somebody needs to hear your story. We don't need to try so hard to be saints and sanctified without forgetting from whence we come. Somebody needs to hear that story about from whence you came and how God delivered. And so for those who were amazed by Jesus's teaching, hopefully it brought some of them closer to God in that synagogue. Certainly, surely, the man who was released from the unclean spirit must praise God. And so too shall we as we leave this place. Patricia, would you do the closing song and then I'll do the benediction. Unmute Patricia. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken, so let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. 
Hallelujah, and to God be the glory. And again, just look at God. Not only has the Lord blessed us with Willie and Sharon to join in membership, but God has brought us extended family and friends with gifts of the spirit, preachers. We're thankful for Fred when he can be with us, Fred Carter. We are thankful for Reverend Arlene who worships with us whenever she can and preaches for us. We are thankful for Minister Matthew Beach who joins us whenever he can. God is working in this community and we thank you, Lord. We thank you, we thank you with all of our mind, body and spirit. And now may the blessing May the blessing of the Lord, may the love, may the joy, may the truth of God fill you, surround you, and carry you as you leave this virtual worship and for a time perhaps leave one another, but never, never, ever being separated from the love and the grace of God. Go now, emboldened by that knowledge to speak truth to power, to be compassionate, to help someone, and to go high, even when others try to bring you low. Go in peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen. So it is. So it is. And we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. And so just give a wave as we begin to depart from one another. Dennis, it's good to see you. Dovey, it's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Carrie, it was wonderful to have you. And Denise and Daryl Hunter, who was on with us. And Mama Jeannie, happy birthday again. And also Vicki, we love you. Janice and all of you who are on with us. And Willie and Sharon know that we just rejoice with the angels. Thank you, Robin Goins, for your leadership on this day. Thank you, Vicki and Mary, for participating in the worship as worship leaders. And Mary and Harvey, we're sending love to you. Hope you got that cup of coffee. Fred, take care now. I'll be in touch. Miss Carter, bless you, my love. We love you. Hope to see you again soon. And Patricia, thank you for gracing us with your gifts of music. Bye-bye, everyone. God bless you. <laughs>